You know what? I was trying to wait. I was trying so hard to wait to make a video about this because I'm doing a really cool collab that's going to surprise all of you at the end of this month. But I'm going to talk about this right now because, hell, I was feeling inspired. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, just a reminder for everybody who has signed up on Patreon, no matter if you're at the $1 tier or $50 tier, whatever it is, I am doing my monthly Q&A. So go over there, ask your questions. And for those of you who aren't signed up on Patreon, the reason I do this is because I get so many requests from all of you and Patreon's a way to have me answer your questions, okay? But anyways, yeah, let's talk about this Gabby Hanna situation. I've had so many people talk about this and I've seen comments on it since I made the video about Tana and uh, Gabby and I want to address it. Like I want to, I've been trying to keep my mouth quiet on it uh, until I do this uh, surprise collab later. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna discuss it. I'm gonna discuss it because this is something that I deal with quite often. And I think, you know, like part of what I do on my channel, I'm trying to give you guys perspective, man. Like one of the biggest problems we struggle with as human beings is a lack of empathy. You know how I keep telling you to start meditating and strengthen your prefrontal cortex? Part of the prefrontal cortex is empathy, okay? We need to strengthen that thing. Like so many people are self-centered and don't, don't try to put themselves in other people's shoes. And and you know what's funny too, because part of this video is gonna be about, you know, I get some comments like, ooh, you're just trying to collab with Gabby Hanna, ugh, you know, or whatever, like, yo, you guys have seen me in these videos. I will give tough love to whoever the hell I feel deserves it. All right, but anyways, those of you who aren't caught up on this situation, um, Gabby Hanna had a little bit of an incident over on Instagram. I'm probably gonna include a clip, don't know who from yet, but I will credit them. Uh, but anyways, Gabby Hanna had a little incident over on Instagram where she posted a picture and then someone commented, you know, just kind of sassing her for like showing her body and like, okay, we get it or whatever. And Gabby Hanna took that and she put it on her story and a bunch of her fans went over and started sending hate or whatever. And then Gabby Hanna actually talked to this person in a DM. Well, Gabby Hanna put what she would consider a hater on blast on her Instagram story. A girl commented underneath one of her pictures saying, No, we really are not wondering how full of yourself you are now to keep multiple selfies of the same thing. As the messages kept pouring in, the girl actually reached out to Gabby and said, Gabby, it's not that I don't think you're confident. I think you're sending a weird message about self-love. Like you didn't like your body, so you changed it. But that's not really accepting yourself. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I'm just a blunt person. The last kid you did this to and sicked your people on, I'm pretty sure, ended up being bullied by your fans more than he deserved when all he was doing was trolling and commented, you're fat, which you could have ignored. That, to me, shows your true side. I used to be a fan of yours, but I didn't like some of the messages you were telling people. I didn't mean disrespect. It was only my opinion. Gabby responded to her by saying, Opinions are bullying, love. But telling me I'm full of myself on a photo where I feel confident and sexy is bullying. Opinions and hate are not mutually exclusive. Your opinion can be that. For example, a certain race or sexual orientation is disgusting. That can be your opinion. That doesn't mean it's not hate. End of the day, you posted a hate comment, period. I posted what you said with a positive note wishing you happiness and confidence to show people how to respond to hate. You don't have to be negative towards people. Telling someone they're full of themselves for what? Posting beautiful pictures of themselves that they're proud of? Promoting something they worked very hard on? Something they were so nervous to show the world? Are you full of yourself for posting the same underwear pics over and over? I don't think so. And I hope someone doesn't try to tell you otherwise. Fool your heart with love and positivity. Have a good night. Well, the girl that was getting attacked obviously had enough, so she sent this back to Gabby. Honestly, Gabby, why don't you go make another f***ing video about it and go be overdramatic because that's the only thing you're good at. To which Gabby responded, I rest my case, love. I hope you find happiness, truly. So yeah, whatever clip I used right there, thank you to whatever creator I use. Go subscribe to them because they're probably someone I like. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this real quick, okay? So I think I mentioned in one of my James Charles videos, like a lot of people wanted me to talk about James Charles like clapping back at somebody on Twitter. And I'm like, yo, I do that all the time. And like here, Here's a perspective I wanna give you, okay? So 
I was a kid growing up with an alcoholic mom who wasn't really in my life because I was raised by my dad. I was a chunky kid growing up, constantly getting bullied. I had social anxiety. I was afraid of everybody. I was always worried about what everybody thought of me and all of that. And I never stuck, stood up for myself, never stood up for myself. Meanwhile, getting bullied as a kid. You know what I mean? So now, now you have adults who are on YouTube and standing up for themselves and you guys are like, oh my God, you need to be nicer. You need to be nicer to people like, screw you. You know what I mean? So the, the person I want to, you know, say is a great inspiration for this is my boy, my boy, whose name I always mis mispronounce is Chris Delia. And the fact that I can tweet, uh, you know, whoever, uh, Tom Hardy, it's a, it's a, it's a luxury. It's a privilege. Okay. Yeah. So if you're going to be able to do that, th they think, uh, I'm just this guy. Nobody's going to see, you know, he's going to see this. No, fuck that. I'm retweeting it. Now you get to see how my life is, dude. Yeah. I'm retweeting this and I'm giving you a, f I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a shot or whatever the f you want to call it. And now everybody gets to talk to you. Yeah. This yeah. is, this, and oh, dude, what the fuck is not cool? This is my life, mother. F yeah. This is how it is. <laughs> this is, this is that you've entered. This is exactly what you wanted, right. and this is what life is. Yeah. This is the internet. You get to talk to me, I've so always... everyone gets to talk to you now. Like whenever I'm, whenever I'm getting ready to clap back, I think about that clip. I'm like, oh, this person done messed up. So like, here's the thing. Like, you guys, you guys, you want to, you want to stop YouTubers or or celebrities from clapping back at you? Re go watch my video about how to be a better person in 2019 and quit being a dick. You know what I mean? Like, I talked about this when Shane Dawson did it. Like, I it, it is just mind-blowing to me how, how so many people just want to run around on the internet and have this freedom to say whatever they want with no repercussions. And, dude, trust me, I'm a huge advocate of freedom of speech. But if you want to have the freedom of speech to be a dick, then you need to accept the consequences of somebody with a bigger following than you clapping back. If you don't want that to happen, quit being a dick, right? Like my Twitter, my Twitter is constantly filled with me showing uh, uh, a comments that I reply to of people saying nasty things to me. You think I feel bad about that? No, because I was a kid who grew up getting bullied and part of the way I keep my mental health straight is I stand up for myself. One of the reasons that I, I, I just hopped on to make this video, I have a comment on my Gabby Hanna and Tana Mojo video and you know what? I'll show it right here on the screen too. I'll, I'll edit the name so you know my fans don't go and uh or whatever, but like, this person, this person, like, they they came to the belief that I, I'm incapable of taking criticism because I disagree with their opinion, all right? Like, think about that. Like, think about that lack of self-awareness, right? And, and something that we deal as YouTubers is, is that we have people who think they know our intentions, they think they know our morals, they think they know our motives, and all sorts of things. Like, do you know how many comments I get on a regular basis like, oh, you don't really care about people's mental health, you're just doing this for the money. You guys, I, I keep trying to teach you guys about how to care, not care what people think. Like, you guys, I worked in drug and alcohol treatment for over three and a half years. You know how many clients told me to my face that I don't really care about them and I'm just there for the money. Like, I hate to break it to you, but I wasn't making that much money, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you think a bunch of like kids on the internet sassing me is gonna bother me at all? Hell no. And like, I, I know more YouTubers are watching my videos now and I hope they get inspired by some of this stuff that I'm saying. So Gabby Hanna, you go girl, you go girl. Now, something I will say is, I'll tell you right now. I will tell you right now, and I don't. I ain't got no shame in it. I think that Shane Dawson has the number one audience, the best audience, the best fans on earth. I think Shane Dawson does. Second place, me. I have the best audience. I have the best subscribers. Like, 
the people who are hashtag rewired soldiers, like you guys know what my mission is. You guys know what I'm about. You know that I'm about like treating people kindly and being nice and things like that. Like you guys, the stuff I reply to in comments is really tame compared to what I used to comment, all right? Like I don't attack people personally or anything like that. I disagree with them. I get a little sassy or whatever, but my audience, I'm very fortunate because I make videos using YouTubers as examples, teach you about your mental health, and my audience gets that. I don't have audience members who go and harass people. And part of that is because I think, you know, and this is, this is just an assumption, it's because I try not to promote hate on here. Like whenever I talk about a YouTuber, I never do it in a malicious way. I never start calling them names or anything like that or whatever it is. And I, I, I think or I would hope that my audience is learning from that and that's why they don't go out and attack people. Now, one of the issues is, is that you have people like Gabby Hanna, you have people like James Charles, you have people with these other audiences who are just vicious right? They're just vicious. And that's why I'm trying to teach YouTubers that we need to be a better example. We need to be a better example. Like, I can't remember, I can't remember the last time somebody told me, yo, Chris, you made a video about me and now your audience is sending me death threats, right? Like, what, what is that, right? Um, I know when Shane Dawson had his situation, like, that kind of happened. Um, but that's weird. That, that, I would say, is because Shane Dawson has, like, 18 million subscribers. Not not all of them are gonna be as kind and generous and nice as he is. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, like you guys, I, I will link up in the info card the video I made about Shane Dawson clapping back at somebody on Twitter. And I that was another collab I did with my son. Like if my son goes on Twitter or on Instagram or any social media platform and starts freaking out on some big YouTuber or celebrity and they point it out to him, like you better believe I'm gonna say, did you learn your lesson? Did you learn your lesson? So you guys gotta think about that. Like I hope you as the viewers, you start gaining some perspective. The last thing I will say is, in Gabby Hanna's specific situation, like dude, like I, pff, I totally got Gabby's back in that situation. She has been struggling with her body image and weight. Like she's openly talked about this. The only reason I know that is because I watched her during Vlogmas. That's like the most I know about Gabby Hanna. And she's talked about her struggles with, um, you know, her body image and going back to the gym and all these other things. And part of the reason she's, she's posting these pictures online is because she's finally feeling confident in her body again. And then you get some jerk who's gonna comment talking crap about that. You know what I mean? So you're damn right she's gonna stick up for herself. Like, I just don't get like how people have the audacity, the audacity to think that they can say whatever they want online and not get a little bit of a clap back. So what I try to do when I when I get a little sassy or whatever, I hope you're learning, like, like I don't get malicious, I don't get terrible. And I think Gabby in that DM, like I don't think she said anything terrible. I don't think she did at all, you know? So I hope everybody learns from this, YouTubers, and uh, audience members alike. Like, you guys, think about it. If we all just quit being dicks to each other, we don't gotta worry about these situations happening. That's about it, all right? But anyways, just wanted, to, just wanted to vent a little, talk about my thoughts on the whole Gabby Hanna Instagram situation. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think I'm an idiot, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> but anyways, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell, no matter what. And thank you to all my amazing Patreons. You are amazing. And don't forget to go um, submit your questions for the Q&A that's up there. And if you want to join in, click or tap on the Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. Quit being a dick, and I'll see you next time.